Nicole, can you hear us? I can, Heidi. Welcome to the Seattle Aquarium, ladies and gentlemen. Now we that... are so excited to have Yo-Yo going back out to Puget Sound today. All right. Now, right now, there's going to be some movement. They're getting the animals settled onto that piling, and they're going to um, help to uh, guide her down to the bottom below the Seattle Aquarium. And uh, Catherine, I'm sorry, uh, Nicole is on our right-hand side. Wave to us, Nicole. Well, hello. There there we go. Welcome. Excellent. Thank you. So, um, uh, as they're guiding this animal down, it's possible that you might see some other animals on this piling. Uh, what, Nicole, what kind of animals are you seeing currently? Well, I see a lot of barnacles living on the pilings. We also see crabs, young sea urchins, baby sea stars, and of course, our giant Pacific octopus, Yo-Yo. Now, uh, yo is, tell us a little bit about Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo's been with us here at the Seattle Aquarium since November. And yesterday, she had a chance to meet our male, Ace, and they had a successful octopus blind date. That's right. Now, just as with human blind dates, blind dates with octopus sometimes are successful and sometimes are not, but we had seen interactions through a barrier that has separated them since November, and we were pretty sure that they were going to uh, find love, and they did, which is a perfect reason why we are wanting to release Yo-Yo. And why is that? Well, Yo-Yo could potentially go out and find a den in order to lay her eggs. She may have as many as 30,000 to 1,000 little rice grain sized eggs that she'll lay. Now, anywhere from 20 to 20,000 to 100,000 eggs is what she's going to release. And she's going to release each one of those individually. And hopefully they get fertilized as she is releasing them and attaching them to the inside of her den. Now, Nicole, that is a lot of babies. Now, are all of them going to survive? They won't all survive, but she will stay with those eggs inside of the den to give them the best chance of developing properly and at least hatching out in the next five or six months. Now, it is an important job of the female octopus. Once she has laid those eggs, she's going to take care of them by, she's going to groom them and she's going to blow water across them. It's going to keep them clean. It's also going to give them lots of oxygen for that development.